The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Captain Rob Smith with BoatTest.com on board the 41 Express from Rampage. When you're heading 50, 100 miles offshore, heading out to the canyons or the middle grounds, you want to feel safe and you want to be confident you're going to get out there and get back. And you're able to take care of anything you meet along the way. Rampage does a great job of that. Let me show you why. Rampage's heritage reaches back to the middle 1980s, yet it has established their line as one of the most respected offshore sport fish boats out there today. These rugged modified V-hulls are constructed with premium cooked gel coats, a vinyl ester resin barrier coat to soften the ride, resist blister cracks and crazies, and buff back to looking like a new boat much easier. Strakes and chines have a polyester fill bond to increase stiffness and strength in the hull. The hull bottom is solid fiberglass and all the hull sides are reinforced with end grain balsa and layers of fiberglass for reinforced strength while saving weight that robs performance. This and much more are reasons for Rampage's 5-year limited structural hull warranty for peace of mind when far from sight of land. We have about 135 inches across we have about 83 inches of depth here in the aft cockpit. What's real important also is we've got looks like about 27 and a half inches of height up to the top of the gunnel. So you can really lean into a fish here. You got enough depth underneath it that you don't kick your toes on there and you can work a fish from here. It's really nice. Even the bait well, even though it's taking up part of the stern there, it's got a toe kick space under it as well. So you still can work the fish from here effectively. It's real important to be able to get through the transom, but you also want to make sure the water doesn't come through when you're backing down on the fish. This one's gasketed got a really heavy duty hinge system on it and it goes out so all the water is going to go out and the fish can be pulled in. With 100 square feet of cockpit space you can easily utilize one half inch aluminum reinforcing plate for a fighting chair or keep it wide open for more room. The end deck fish boxes have macerators and you have seven gunnel mount rod holders in the 12 and a half inch wide gunnels. The transom itself has several options including the dual access live well bait well. Trying to meet the demands of the sport fishermen out there is difficult. To be able to do that, you gotta be flexible. Rampage does a great job of that. All these are pod systems that you can take away or you can add or switch around. In this case, this one's got a workstation with a sink and a drainable tray. And then in, underneath, you've got a bait station with all the drawers and tackle centers you can use. Molded in steps and wide side decks take you to the bow safely. The integral pulpit has a stainless steel anchor roller assembly with standard anchor, 300 feet of anchor line, and 25 feet of chain. I couldn't imagine having this boat without the heavy duty Maxwell RC800 windlass and fortress anchor to save you going forward in a pitching sea. If you do, the 41 Express has some beefy aluminum bow rails that are about 24 inches high. The step locker gives you access to the aluminum fuel tanks and their shutoff valves. Notice this is not foamed in, which is great. Foamed in tanks can give trouble down the road. A motorized engine hatch lifts the helm deck up for access to the engines. This is something else the serious fisherman would appreciate is the access to the engine. Most every one of them has the cockpit that goes up out of the way. But look at how much room we have in here. These are Cat C12s. There's a lot of engine right here, but I can get to all sides of these engines. Something else Rampage does a good job of on the 41. I noticed this on the 34 as well. You've got 360 degree access around the helm chair, which is important. When you've got friends and you've got family and you've got other fishermen trying to work around it, you need to let them have plenty of space. When we were driving this morning, we had 360 degrees of visibility. Yeah, we've got some framework for the tower that gets in the way a little bit, but I had good visibility. I didn't have any blind spots when I was out there running. And we had a lot of little fishermen out there we had to get around. The centerline helm has seating to port and starboard. If you want, you can add another frigid rigid system under the port seating or use insulated locker to stow ice. The dash has 864 square inches of landscape for electronics. The electronic controls to the Caterpillar engines and ZF transmissions are to the right of the Edson stainless steel wheel and I found the panels angled just right for visibility from either a standing or sitting position. I found the tuna tower was easy to access. The hard top and tower adds lots of room for more rod holders and spreader lights. The upper control station had a set of electronic controls and another Edson stainless steel wheel. Three steps from the cockpit and you're in the main cabin. The interior is cherry wood with solid wood removable table. The L-shaped lounger converts easily into Pullman bunks when you have a crew on board. Putting it back away is just as simple. The galley showcases Rampage's ability to build beautiful cabinets. I like how Rampage uses a double drawer refrigerator freezer system which maximizes space when space is at a premium. 
The home theater system with LCD TV is above the sink for good viewing from the salon. A queen size island berth measuring about 78 inches by 59 inches is forward in the V which has a curtain to pull over for privacy and there's 38 and a half inches of overhead directly above the berth. The fiberglass enclosed head has a solid cherry door. There's 77 inches from sole to overhead in the head and shower. This rugged 41 Express Sport Fish measures 44 feet or 13.4 meters with its integrated pulpit. Her beam is 16 feet or 4.9 meters and her draft is 4 feet which is 1.2 meters. Testing the 41 Express on the Great Lakes wasn't much of a challenge for this machine, at least not on the morning I tested. She handled smoothly and turned without feeling top heavy with the tuna tower. Her top speed was clocked at 41.1 miles per hour or 35.7 knots burning 66.9 gallons per hour or 253.2 liters per hour at 2367 RPM. Her most economical cruising speed was 28.2 miles per hour or 24.5 knots at 1750 RPM burning 35.6 gallons per hour or 134.7 liters per hour for a full tank range of 498 miles or 802.5 kilometers. When you're ready to go offshore, you want to be safe and secure. Secure in the fact that you're going to get out there and you're going to get back. Safe in the fact that it can handle the worst. We've got a good storm coming up here. Would you go out? The Rampage 41 can get out there and get you back safe.